India will shortly launch its first expedition to Mars. Its mission to assess whether or not there is or ever has been life on the Red Planet. Many in the Indian scientific community are proud of the nation's space program, but there's concern the mission to Mars has been poorly planned. Some critics say it's solely aimed at furthering India's position in the space race with China, at a time when the money could be better spent on helping India's poor. India correspondent Stephanie March reports. From my childhood, I wanted to be an astronaut. So it's not easy in my country to become an astronaut. Where is the moon? Only two Indians have ever been in space, a fact that deeply frustrates space enthusiast Vinod Kotya. We are destined for exploration, the humankind. So we have to uh, explore our wing uh, in the deep space. Someday we, can, we can't survive uh, in the Earth for a long time. Uh, someday we have to go uh, to other planets. So why not uh, we start today? He's one of 200,000 Indians to have applied to be part of the Mars One project, a not-for-profit organisation based in Europe that plans to establish a permanent human settlement on Mars in 2023. Successful applicants win a one-way ticket to the Red Planet. But above all, I have a deep passion to explore the universe. Gravity is very less, my bone density will decay, my muscles will decay. So I will not be able to live again uh, on Earth when I come back. So it's better to live there and die there instead of coming back and die terribly on the Earth. He isn't the only Indian keen to get to Mars. The nation's government and space agency, ISRO, want to get there too. And they're a little more advanced in their planning. ISRO is about to embark on its first mission to the Red Planet. This probe is going to look at the Martian atmosphere and particularly to look at the methane composition in the atmosphere. The presence of methane means the possibility of life on Mars. If all goes well, the craft will take nine months from its launch date to reach its destination. This is a path-breaking mission that opens up new vistas of outer space exploration. India is proud of its space program. It was the first country to confirm the presence of liquid water on the moon during its 2008 lunar voyage. But this latest mission has led some in the science community to question the space program's direction and the motivation behind it. Ignition sequence normal and liftoff normal. The rocket that is going to take this satellite to Mars is actually not designed for deep space exploration or interplanetary exploration. It's a small rocket. There won't be another launch window for this mission until 2016, but some fear India is pushing ahead with a less than ideal rocket for another reason. There's been commentary in the papers, in the press about the space race between India and China. That must have been at the back of the mind somewhere. But frankly speaking, whether there was a space race or not, uh, India would have wanted to get a mission to Mars uh, at some point of time. The Mars mission will cost a little less than 100 million US dollars. Cheap by international space program standards, but critics say the money should be spent on India's problems back on Earth. This is a, in my view, uh, a perversity because you're really spending money on, you know, the Moon mission and the Mars mission, which is completely disproportionate in quantity to what we spend on, you know, absolutely basic needs for the people, you know, of, 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 the, of the population. A recent report from India's Rural Development Ministry found that only 18% of the country's rural population have access to clean drinking water, electricity and toilets. I would say build toilets, improve, uh, you know, the drinking water supply system in the whole in the whole country give people better health care I would put that hundred million 
dollars into uh, a universal vaccination program, beef that up. We have achieved a perfect launch. Supporters of the space program say it's achieved a great deal for the average person in India. India has used its space program for explorations of its uh, natural resources, uh, for remote sensing, for mapping of mineral resources, of forest area, land resources, um, which has again yielded enormous uh, developmental dividends. This sort of scientific uh, output and benefits, I mean, they're very they're marginal, if, if not trivial, actually. You know, why, why is India getting into this business? Just um, to claim prestige. The benefits of space exploration may be marginal now, but some believe they may one day provide the solution to many more of India's problems. I hope that uh, in future government should co colonize the moon uh, and Mars. Uh, we have to plan for that. Uh, so that would be much better uh, than just having a simple missions like uh, just going there and coming back. We should now think for colonization. Uh, we should now think for uh, utilizing the resources of other planets, moon, asteroids. Ast